Hmm. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time of day this is for you. It's morning for me. Welcome to our intimate closet talks. Coming at you from my closet once again. My friends. Beautiful beings. Mm. Well, I had to come back on because that last one was pretty tearful and I don't like to leave you that way. It's hard to see somebody in pain. And there's not much you can do. Well, and we can always send loving vibes to each other. Maybe I'll put this red one up higher. Let's see, in my closet, we don't want to... Uh... Ooh, that's a little better, isn't it? The sun is coming up out there, so just, you know, as long as this stuff up here don't catch fire. Hmm, it's pretty warm up there like that now. Maybe if I just hold it then. Maybe I should just hold the candle. The red candle to peace. Hi, it's me, Wingish New Baby, Jackie Quay. Your friendly, freak ass, sweet grass, water, medicine woman. That's Christy I Carr, Christy Carr, superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome. All you beautiful divine beings right here, too. Right in my closet. Intimate closet talks into me, I see. So, yesterday I became the mom of two adult men. Yes, my second son turned 18. Yes, it's beautiful. There's stuff I, I did share. That's what I shared about the last time, wasn't it? Opening up about the stuff with my dad. And... But we have to feel it to heal it. So I've been practicing Feeling those feelings I just wanted to avoid. Do we all have those? Which feelings do you not like to feel? Do you avoid? But do they go away? Do they show up in another way? They do. I went through a tough thing too. I had... Uh, I had to go right into the grieving. Because that's healing. There ain't nothing wrong with me for feeling and the grieving to say that you loved. You did love and I've trusted the wrong people. Maybe. Maybe it's not the wrong people. Maybe it's the wrong time or whatever. We all got to heal our own stuff and if we haven't, we're going to Projected on others, maybe? Do you see how you project some stuff? Is there some things you thought you looked at differently? I don't know. But I know, Sharon, that's something new for me because I'm always like, I'm okay, I'm okay. I don't want anybody to worry. Well wishes, please. You know? But if we don't put it out there and share our vulnerabilities, nobody's going to know we're going to, we need help, right? And the help comes when we're connecting with each other. I'm having a hard time holding this. I want to take a sip of my hot chocolate. My hot chocolate. I don't want to knock over the yellow candle. That one's taller, so I couldn't put it on my shelves in my closet, her. It's like the miss in my, well, it's not too bad. Where's a closet with shelves? I got books on it and stuff. Hmm. I got a mirror back there too, so I can sit here and do my within work. Go to the closets and pray, right? What about the skeletons in your closet? Whoops. Ew. Ha. That flame, that fire, that passion. What is that? Mine's been people and healing and helping others, right? 
take your power back. It's one thing. I got hyper responsible, but I really appreciated that. But my mother, you know, even if they got a gun to your head, you still got a choice. It gave me the power that everything I have chosen in one way or another. If I don't like what's happening, I can change how I think about what's happening. I don't want to do it, right? Or even doing the dishes, trying to get you to do your house, house chores. I still got to do it. You can do it with a smile on your face or you can complain all the time. It's up to you, right? At a very young age, I chose, well, okay, let me just get through this. And then I'm outside playing. I remember the one time I was caught, I came home, was honest. Or somebody told on me, so I said, yeah, I had a cap full at the neighbor's house. I had a cap full of alcohol. I can't remember who it was. Oh, and I think one of my brothers ran home and told on me or something. And so it was like, you can be grounded or get the stick. And I'm like, give me a stick. Uh, I know, right? You get a one's whap on the ass and then I'd be out side playing again. Instead of grounding. <laughs> it was something with me too. I took personally. I learned to, to accept no. And without excuses. Because I started feeling bad in high school or wanting to do things and asking for that, but knowing my parents didn't have the money. So I'd feel guilty. I remember telling my mom, just tell me no. Don't explain because then it just makes both of us feel bad. So I'm going to be disappointed or whatever. I'll get over it, you know. But we don't need to keep going on and on about it because then we both feel bad about it. I feel bad for asking. You feel bad that you can't give it to me. Where does that, you know. I stopped. Stop asking for so much. Little things, right? So then it's just tiny little things that, uh -uh, I don't know. What is that? Learning how to ask now. I've put out a fundraiser and now I realize it says the fundraisers are, but I'm still sharing it. I can't accept donations on there. But if anybody wants to reach out to me directly, because I need just more than finances, if I can get my van off me right now. That's the intimate talks. I've got lots I need to do. I'd really like to become self-sufficient, have my have my shop open. I need to look realistically. Issues I have degenerative. But hey, going to chiropractor and open up those things. I believe in mind over matter. Connecting in with source and, you know, can heal things. It's you look in the documentations of it, people shrunk their tumors. Curing their cancer or whatever, just by the power of their minds. Talk about placebo effects. I love the work of Bruce Lipton. The way he talks about that. The information comes from the outside, so our thoughts really do affect all of our bodies. And, you know, I had good messages growing up, too, that I'm healthy as a horse. Always healthy, healthy, healthy. I get little sniffles here and there, colds, but as for sick, I've always been very healthy. It's my physical thing. I've been physically depleted, but I had to learn the strength isn't in my physical strength. There's lots of strength in our vulnerabilities. Because when we open up, we see, ah, others too, right? We're all put on this tough show. Right? Never let them see you sweat, all that. What are we... Hmm, where do all those messages come from? Why have we bought into these kinds of things? Look at that for you. When you go out, do you help people expecting something? Even a thank you. You go out to help somebody and then you're complaining that they didn't even say thank you. Were you doing that from that genuine calling to help? You know? Then if they're not, if they just keep coming, there's not even a thank you and they just keep expecting more and more and more. Well, hey, red flags. Do we continue to give to that? And if we continue to give to those people after they've shown us, who's to blame? Are they to blame because we keep dishing it out? Or how about we not look for blame and not feel ashamed? And look, this is practice boundaries then. Because I feel drained, I'm not going to continue to give to this one. They don't, they just seem to keep taking it and not doing anything to help themselves with it. You know, when those people just want the handouts and not the hand ups. Then look at the few people that do that. Few. There's not as many that take advantage of the system. There's a few, but yet across the board. 
I remember being in class one time and I just got there. I was late. But they said, nobody's leaving this because somebody had cheated on this or whatever. Nobody's leaving. I'm like, oh my God. I didn't even know what was going on. I had no idea. Right? And then for some reason, they're going to think it's me and I'm, you know, I have no idea. That's my trauma in there too. I've gotten in trouble for things I didn't do. Or when people, that's been done. Different classes. It's happened throughout, right? So this happened like in college and then, you know, it brought back the memories of public school or whatever, primary school, when the whole class got punished for something one person did because that one person wouldn't stand up and say, I did this. So is it fair to punish all for what one has done? Hmm. I don't know, Jesus has flashed in my mind. Can we forgive them all for what one has done, right? One and done. It is finished. What is that? I don't know. Do we all keep trying to sacrifice like Jesus? You know, to walk like Jesus, is. I don't think it means to sacrifice your life like Jesus. Because... It's not, it's not needed, you know, if you believe in that, that's already done to appreciate and to walk the way it said that he walked in love, in light. You know what? It wasn't always about the peace, right? Anybody ever read that one or see that thing in there where he flips the tables at the marketplace and he's some, some, some account say he was flogging the people. For turning the church into a marketplace. Making it about money. That even the holiest, I claim to be the holiest of holy, just about the money. They don't live in humble means, no. So look at that, right? But yet they're like, they, they preach and yes, live, live, you know, give away all, sacrifice all. Yeah, give it all to the church so we can live on it. I mean, what a bad name that's gotten. I don't believe in one way, one way for each person. That means many different ways to the same place. We're all on our own personal journeys. Not all of our life lessons will be the same. Or maybe they will, but they'll come about in different ways. Well, what do you think about that? What is it that you believe? And what beliefs have actually helped you in your life? What beliefs have hurt you? Because it's their thoughts. You see, nobody breaks my heart. I break my own heart. It's the expectations I had sure many many made promises I chose to believe I chose to believe even when something inside of me said uh, uh, uh. even if they really want to this ain't gonna happen what is that what have you chose to believe that have helped you in your life what have you chose to believe that has hurt you are you able to ask for help? Are you able to show your vulnerable side? Do we practice that and show it to the other ones for self-sabotage? How, how are you self-sabotaged? Because we need to begin within and look at those things, first of all. And feel, to heal. And instead of feeling sorry for people, instead of having pity, because then that kind of puts you above. You're kind of looking down at somebody if you're feeling sorry and pitying them. Send them well wishes. See the humanness. How about see it as a reflection in yourself? What is this reflecting back to me? Or am I projecting? Right? Am I reflecting or am I projecting? Is this a lesson I need to learn? Maybe it's a lesson I have already learned and here's my chance to, you know, strengthen that in me to show myself that I love that, to turn it more into wisdom, to get some more wisdom from that. Hmm. No, I'll leave it at that for now. I'm going to keep these little intimate talks <laughs> short and sweet like me. <laughs> I'm going to the chiropractor, I think. I think eventually I'm going to be actually a 5'4". I'm like, 
five three and a half, five three and three quarters when I kind of stretch and lengthen out. But I think I'm gonna hit actually five four. There's my goal. By the time I'm done my chiropractor, I will be five four. <laughs> ah, okay. Let me do this. Put this candle over our. All right, the biggest heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you, shining your light through in everything that you do. Because you know what this world needs you to be you, fully holy and true. Or else this world misses out on that gift that is you. Love you. Have a wonderful, blessed day and week. This is a Tell It Tuesdays from my Intimate Closet Talks. Yeah, interactions. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you feel. What you've learned. What makes you most vulnerable? No, maybe we don't want... Well, sometimes we do. Put it all out there. There's, 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 there's how we see red flags. We put out there, this makes me most vulnerable, and somebody uses that against you, then done. Right? Instead of being hurt and shamed by that, we go, huh. No, this lets me know this person didn't have... Wasn't here caring for me. They were there for themselves. Whatever that is. Oh, no. Here we go. Love you. <laughs>